What's going on YouTube? Today I'm going to show you guys how to perform a cylinder compression test. First thing you're going to need to do is you're going to have to get your vehicle warmed up to um, normal running temperature. And now we just wait and let the motor warm up. temp is still cold and you can see that a lot of people wait for when their um, their coolant temp is right below that um, the normal line the minimum of the uh, the normal line but look at your oil temp it's still below 100 so you gotta remember your oil temp is what's what's important when you let your engine warm up not your water temp all right so now I got the engine up to normal operating temperature so what I'm going to have to do for this particular vehicle is I'm going to have to remove the mass sensor um, housing, the air filter, and its bracket. Might probably take off these uh, uh, charge pipes. I'm going to have to remove the, um, the battery to access the spark plugs on the driver's side for the USDM vehicles. I'm going to have to get those out of the way so we can gain access to the spark plugs. And once we get access to the coil packs and spark plugs, go ahead and remove those and then we can begin our uh, compression test. Alright, we're back. We just experienced the blackout. Well, a brownout since it's daylight outside. I thought I popped the breaker in the in for the garage, but it's very uncommon for me to pop a breaker when I'm not really using anything. Like I'm not using my compressor, I'm not using my welder, and the breaker popped. So back to work. Okay, so now once your engine's all warmed up and you got your coil packs out and your spark plugs out, now you can take your uh, hose adapter and hook it up to your compression gauge. And I usually start off with cylinder number one. I keep track of it on a piece of paper. I'm gonna do bank one and then I'll move over and do bank two, which is the um, left side of the vehicle. Bank one is cylinders one and three. I'm just doing this because they're right next to each other. It just makes it easy. What you're gonna have to do is thread the hose into cylinder number one uh, spark plug port. And then you're gonna take your hose and your compression gauge and you're gonna take the quick, dis quick connects and lock it in. Head inside the vehicle and then you're gonna crank the motor about five to seven times. You need to go ahead and disable your injectors so that um, fuel doesn't get sprayed into the cylinders, into the combustion chamber. You should check with your FSM if your vehicle is compatible with this uh, technique. 
But with this vehicle, if I give it full throttle, it'll automatically shut off the injectors. So I press the clutch in, and then I'll give it full throttle, and then bump it. All right, it's about five, six. So, now I had to turn them off. See what we got on compression. Also, I kind of want to put my battery on a charger as well. 105. What you want to do is you want to do this to every cylinder and then write down those readings. So just repeat the procedure for the rest of the cylinders that you want to do a compression check on and document your findings. So once you've got your compression test reading from your first cylinder that you tested, I always recommend to write that down, take your phone, put it in your notes, write down if you did it with a cold engine. You should always do it with a warm engine so you have it like how the motor is uh, during normal operation, but a uh, compression test could also be done with uh, a cold motor. Just say, uh, for example, if like you had a no start condition where you couldn't even start your engine and you need to figure out the vitals of your motor if, if the motor was okay. So you're gonna go ahead and write down your compression reading, um, and then go ahead and perform the same thing to the next cylinder if you want to do a full compression test throughout your whole engine. For a Subaru, it's easier to move on to your uh, cylinder number three because it's on the same bank that you're currently working on. And then, same thing again, hook up your test, your, uh, hook up your test hose. And then once your test hose is connected, you can go ahead and hook up your compression test gauge. And then, um, go ahead in the car, step on your clutch, press your, your gas pedal which is gonna open up your throttle body and cut off your fuel. But always disconnect your uh, fuel pump fuse so you don't have any fuel pump coming from your, uh, fuel pressure coming from your fuel pump. Then you can go ahead and crank the motor up at least five revolutions. Or you can look at your gauge. And once your gauge starts, st uh, starts peaking, that's your compression reading. Then you can move on to your next cylinder the same thing until you've done all your cylinders or all the cylinders that you wanted to test and that's how you do a compression test thanks for watching uh, i appreciate it if you like share and subscribe and if you like this content or you have any questions feel free to uh, comment below <laughs> I, don't know, I don't have an ending